Uh, thank you, and I thank Benjamin Netanyahu for coming here to the United States. It's important for us to hear firsthand from the person who leads the nation that is on the line. I had the privilege, the responsibility, of going to Israel um, in the first congressional delegation after the attack. And the nation, which is kind of used to terrorism, was shocked by this. To put it in perspective, if you, if you scaled up, our population is so much bigger than Israel's. They lost 1,300 people. That would have been the equivalent of 40,000 Americans dead in one attack, unprovoked, by someone who had been, if you will, making motions that they would be at peace. They had the same shock as we had after 9-11. And our message to Prime Minister Netanyahu is that you stood with us after 9-11, and we will stand with you after October the 7th. Now, Hamas targets civilians, children, infants. They are the ones who are the killers. In contrast, Israel wants to protect their people, and that's the difference. I cannot stress enough, there is no moral equivalency between Israel and Hamas. Hamas is the aggressor. They are the terrorist. They are those who even now embed their leadership within a civilian population, knowing that Israel, if they wish to take out that Hamas leadership, will be forced to have, uh, that, that there might indeed be uh, 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 civilian deaths. But that is Hamas bringing upon those civilians. Um, now, that's not the only thing we're battling. There's anti-Semitism here in the United States, and we've seen this rampant anti-Semitism at colleges nationwide. No student should fear, as she or he walks around the campus, that they are in danger just because they're going to class. Now, these anti-Israel protesters are not singing Kumbaya. They're chanting slogans known to mean the obliteration of the nation of Israel. That's why we have introduced the Restoring Civility on Campus Act, ensuring that universities and the Biden-Harris administration immediately addresses civil rights complaints if a student experiences violence or harassment on a campus because of their heritage. I thank Senator Ernst for co-leading this bill, and I thank her as well for co-hosting this. Thank you.